Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, so, this week we had our first cool down, our first frost, and um, just wanted to run out here and do like a hour fishing trip to see if uh, see if the pattern pattern has changed. Uh, I'm here uh, out again at Keystone. Water is still the water is still super brown. And the last report that I've got, there's a boat out there. The last report that I actually got from my buddy, he said he skunked out the other day. Uh, so, uh, we'll see how I do. I didn't bring too much lures, just my basic setup. So, hopefully, we get something. But, enough talking. I'll see you guys out there. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be narrating a little bit uh, to let you guys know what's going on in the video uh, instead of you just watching me catch, try to catch fish. So basically what this video is, is this is my first trip out after our first freeze. It's officially fall. The water is a little bit cooler and uh, yeah, I had like an hour 30 minute, hour 30 minute window in the afternoon to go and try to figure out what the fish are I want to bite on so here it's been like 30 minutes already to my trip top water was my go-to and I had no hits uh, so far so after this cast right here I went and transitioned to uh, my bottom setup to cover the uh, bottom wa uh, water comb and yep yeah. Usually my go-to setup would be like a jig head, like a two, three ounce jig head with a fluke. But because I knew that there was a ton of spoonbills and gar up towards the dam right now, uh, I decided to go with more of, of a, um, almost like a weedless setup. So that's an inline uh, sinker with a fluke or just like this right here, uh, with a fluke at the end, but I actually bought some um, fly fishing flies that I want to try out so uh, I cut the fluke off only to realize my flies are still in the truck so I had to run back up oh, to uh, grab it. Now like halfway back down I realized I didn't have any more of my uh, leader material, my leader line. So I had to run back up and grab it again. So wasted even more time. But yeah, I was pretty surprised. Uh, fall, usually during the fall, top water is like you know, pretty pretty awesome. The fish are, the strippers are trying to fatten up for the winter because they know that it's getting colder. But for some reason today, m might be because we had storms rolling through, causing them, causing them to like not want to um, operate. But yeah, they were seemed like all the fish was on the bottom. So here's how I set up. Uh, these are actually just trolling. They're called inline sinkers, but they're trolling sink sinkers. So I just tie my leader to the bottom of the sinker, then I tie my fly to the end of that leader. And after I do that, the other side of the sinker, I just clip it onto my tactical angler's, angler's clip that's on my main line. This is the first time I was, I'm using uh, flies uh, to do this setup, so uh pretty happy with the performance of it so far i uh, bought these um fly fishing flies off of a guy on amazon no on ebay actually 
first cast. Like instant hookup, like couldn't almost couldn't believe it. I thought it was like a, I thought fuck? I snagged a spoonbill. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess so. So the way I cover the bottom is I'll cast it out and wait and feel uh, my line. As soon as that sinker hits the bottom, uh, I start picking up um, the sinker or start jigging it back. It's not even fighting or anything. The thing is you want to keep your lure as close to the bottom but not on the bottom. There's just too much line and too, it's oh, just it's too rocky down there to... Uh, to keep it on the bottom so you just keep it as close to the bottom as you can that's basically the uh, goal when I'm hitting trying to hit the bottom of water column man just getting that first bite man just get your blood pumping for sure <sighs> yeah so this is just a schoolie, but right, he's a chunky one. They are feeding up um, pretty well. And it helps that there's a ton of shad still in the you. river right now, in the tailwaters. That's what these guys are feeding on, and uh, this fly kind of mimics it pretty nicely. Nice little guy. Damn, tore it up. Now this is a couple casts after I just released that fish. I'm gonna get a pretty big fish on here, but a lot of you guys ask me why I horse the fish in so fast, and this is why right here. So at our dams, at the bottom of um, the dam, there's like pillars that help break up the water from I believe, from creating too many big uh, waves. And these big stripers, especially the big stripers, when you hook up into them, they know to run back down and uh, dig back down, basically break you off. And that's what happened here. So yeah. Either you horse them out or you lose them. Yeah, we've lost like a couple good fish to those pillars. So, so now you know that's why we horse them in instead of we instead of playing with them and um, having fun with them. So this is my backup reel. Instead of wasting more time in tying a, loot, a uh, new leader, I decided to go to my backup reel, which um, has 30 pound. Uh, Test braid on it instead of 20 pound. And uh, again, I already have my leader tied. Now I just gotta set up my uh, flies again and I'm ready to go. Damn it. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys a link to these flies because um, they get uh, there is no link to them. The guy you ha you have to bid for these. And uh, I was just lucky enough to win the bid and I paid for it. And I got the flies. I did contact the seller, but he doesn't have a, uh, a website or anything. So if you guys are, are interested in these flies, you just got to search on eBay. Just look for like Striper Glimmer, uh, G-L-I-M-M-E-R, and it'll pop up. All right, guys, so I'm just going to leave you guys here. I do catch a couple more pretty decent striped bass so if you guys like these videos uh, please hit that sub, sus uh, subscribe button and hit that bell notification because it really helps us out and I'll see you guys on the next one so thanks for watching
big strap. Feel him shaking. Yeah. Whoo! Broke one off earlier. <sighs> nice. They're picky sometimes, man. Boy, the water's so dirty. Yeah. I have something colorful for them to see anyway. Yeah. I just got started striking this. I don't know. Oh, yeah? Man. Miss, miss. Whatever this is, it's bigger than the last one. Probably. <laughs> With my luck, yeah. It's not really fighting. <sighs> Try to cut me off up there. He's trying to cut me off up there. I know what he's trying to do. A big ass boom bell. Feels like dead weight. A little bit. There's a little pump in there, but that'd be a big ass catfish. Slowly coming. Probably gut hooked a spoonbill or something. Oh. So I probably gut hooked a spoonbill or something. Get on this side. What the fuck? 
the big striper. What? Damn. Got him on the back. What the heck? Hell yeah. Uh, I, yeah. What the heck? Did not expect a gun hook, huh? Uh, are you stuck? <sighs> Damn. Damn. No wonder it felt like I know. I was like, dude, I feel like he's pumping, but he's not pumping. <sighs> yeah, I got pliers. Huh? You got pliers? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm using right here. A little fly. That's what I'm looking at. These, these are like little uh, actual fly fishing lures. Just kind of adapted it to. Where did you get that at? Uh, I got these off eBay actually. Yeah. They were. Yeah, I'm at, so look, that's the only thing I haven't seen them hit all day. Shit. What's that? Hell yeah. The water's so dirty, they gotta have something close. That's a fucking monster, dude. Sideways or? Yeah, sideways is fine. Sorry, I snagged you. There she goes. Shad and little fly. Thanks, man. Woo. Oh, thank you for bringing that. Thanks for bringing that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't eat. I don't really eat them too much, so I just do it for the sport. I have to go anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, you too. You too, man. I gotta head out too. Oh shit, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, I appreciate it, man.
Aye, right, man. <laughs> hey, man, good luck. It's getting too windy and I gotta go yeah. pick up my daughter. Okay. Uh. Dude, it was like super calm when I came and now it's like freaking white caps out there. Got some r storms rolling through. This is why it got so windy. Look at that over there. Crazy looking. Sucks. But it's alright. It's just one hour fishing again. Uh, just killing some time and trying to figure out the bite. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.